Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our health unit today, and we're going to be talking about tea、yeah. or teas. If you're talking about different kinds of teas, like here in Taiwan, there are many different kinds of tea, like、uh, Tie Guan Yin、mm-hmm. and Bao Zhong、yeah. and、uh, Dongfang Mei Ren and Oolong and all those other wonderful kinds of tea. But we're talking about a special kind of tea today called herbal tea. Which I guess isn't really made from the tea plant at all. It's made from different kinds of spices and、mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. And、uh, people drink this tea to improve their health. Two things I want to mention. Tom was saying that we use teas in the plural because there are different kinds of tea. Tea is non-count, like bread. But if you're talking about different kinds of bread, we say breads. So、mm. just be aware of that. And also, there is a different pronunciation for this word herbal. If you're talking to people, perhaps with a British accent. They like to say herbal or herbs with the H sound, but most of us in America like herbal. We drop that H. I've been in Taiwan for a long time in the English teaching environment, so、yeah. I've kind of forgotten how I said it when I was growing、mm. up. But I'm just going to go with herbal today because、okay. it sounds good to me. And herbal teas can improve your health. There are different kinds of herbal teas that are available locally here. Yeah. So let's check it out, everybody. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson right now, and then we'll be right back. Herbal teas have been consumed for their health benefits and pleasant taste for thousands of years. Ancient texts from India, China, and Egypt describe how to use herbal tea remedies to treat medical conditions and stay healthy. Nowadays, people still use herbal teas to relieve many different kinds of physical health problems and improve their emotional well-being. Unlike green and black teas. Herbal teas do not contain caffeine and are not made from the tea plant. Instead, they are made using herbs, spices, fruits, or other plant materials such as flowers, leaves, seeds, or roots. These materials are placed in hot water to release their flavors and properties. Some popular herbal teas include chamomile, ginger, and rooibos. Chamomile tea comes from the dried flower of the chamomile plant. While it is widely enjoyed for its mild taste, its calming effects are also said to get rid of stress and anxiety. A cup of chamomile tea before bed may even help you fall asleep, as well as ease body pains and digestion. Ginger tea is made from fresh or dried ginger root. This spicy tea is excellent for relieving upset stomachs. Drinking ginger tea can help treat colds and coughs and soothe sore throats. Rooibos tea, also called red bush tea, comes from the leaves of a shrub that grows in South Africa. It has a sweet, earthy taste and is believed by some to help treat asthma and various allergies. It can also be found in products intended to improve skin and hair quality. Many people find different herbal teas to be refreshing, relaxing, and delicious. Whether you want to improve your health or you are just looking for a satisfying caffeine-free drink, try a few herbal teas to see which one you like the most. So we're talking about herbal teas that can improve your health. There's one of these that is in the article that I've used quite a bit, actually. I'm not a big herbal tea fan. I was telling one of our colleagues here that I think that most of the teas I've I've had tastes like grass. I feel like a horse when I'm drinking it. But there is one tea that has helped soothe my sore throat. It helps with phlegm, which is tan. That's the ginger tea. I just get ginger root that is very plentiful here in Taiwan. I'd never tried it before in America, but a friend of mine who's Taiwanese recommended it. It's really great if you're fighting a cold and you have congestion, and there's a lot of phlegm or tan in your lungs.、Mm. I think、uh, ginger tea is great. It's a little bit spicy, actually. It's got this heat to it if you drink it. Yeah, so it's kind of fun. 
And of course, you prepared from the ginger root. Yeah, I think you kind of beat on it with a cleaver or something. I just and boil it. Boil it in water or、yeah. something, and let it sit there for a while. I'm not quite sure how to make it myself, but that is an example of herbal teas. It is. And of course, here in Taiwan, we've got conventional tea that's made from the tea plant, but herbal teas are not made from the tea plant itself. The like, tea leaves, yeah.、Like、the teas we're used to here in Taiwan、right. would be、uh, green tea, oolong tea, oolong. and black tea mainly.、Mm-hmm. It depends on the level of fermentation. Like,、uh, I guess green tea has no fermentation.、Mm-hmm. Oolong is like halfway fermented, and then black tea is totally fermented. But、uh, that's another subject. We're talking about herbal teas here, and they have been consumed for their health benefits and pleasant taste for thousands of years.、Yep. To consume just means to drink or eat something. Yeah. So we know from ancient texts from India, China, and Egypt, they describe how to use herbal tea remedies to treat different medical conditions and help people stay healthy. So if you're talking about a text, it's something that someone has written down. So these are ancient texts from different countries around the world,、uh, mostly over here, and they describe how to use herbal tea remedies. A remedy is a word we use when we talk about. About、some sort of homemade treatment, I would say, to help some sort of condition you have, could be a medicine or something that you do to help your body feel better. But when I see remedies, I often think of home remedies, things that we can help treat our bodies at home. We don't have to go see a doctor for or go and buy a prescription medicine. So we're talking about these herbal teas actually helping. Make you feel more comfortable. Make your body feel better if you're sick. Indeed, and of course, when I was growing up,、uh, old Doctor Torreson from Wallingford、uh, <laughs> used to come up with some headache remedy、yeah. that he would sell in the town, made from various、uh, herbs and spices and stuff like that. Did it that. work? Some people said it worked. Some people said it was、uh, totally useless. He was kind <laughs> of a quack doctor, but in any case, quack is not an official doctor. He just comes up with his own,、yeah. you know, treatments. Old、yeah. Doctor Torreson, I think he died about ten years ago. But in、Quack's、any case, here. Yeah, he was kind of an eccentric fella, though. We liked hearing his stories. But in any case, here back to the subject here. Herbal tea remedies. They、mm. can treat medical conditions, which、uh, could be some kind of problem you're having, whether it be chronic back pain or maybe diabetes or something. A disease or an injury, both. Exactly,、yeah. medical conditions. So, of course,、uh, people have prescribed herbal tea remedies for centuries from India, China, and Egypt, etc., etc. Nowadays, people still use herbal teas to relieve many different kinds、mm. of physical health problems and improve their. Emotional well-being. So nowadays, that brings it up to the present. Now, in present days, people still use herbal teas, not like they used to in ancient India or China, but they use them nowadays to relieve different kinds of problems.、Uh, to relieve just means to make these problems less severe. I、mm-hmm. guess you still have the problems, but they're not so bad. Reduce it, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Reduce the severity of it. So these could be physical health problems, which have to do with your body. You're healing from a broken leg or something like that, or like I said, you've got some kind of chronic muscle pain or something like that. But also, they drink this tea to improve their emotional well-being. Emotional is the opposite of physical. Physical is your body, whereas emotional is your mind, your thinking, and maybe you're undergoing a lot of stress, a lot of deadlines at work, or something like that. You've got some important test coming up in university, so you're under stress. So you might drink this tea to improve. Your emotional well-being. Emotional is from emotions. The way you feel. Are you happy, sad, worried, etc.? Yeah. Those are emotions. Well-being just means how well you are, how healthy you are. Yeah, I used to have a friend. I taught to her kids piano lessons when I was in college, and I would go to her house, and she'd always give me a cup of herbal tea. It was peppermint flavored, and she swore it made people feel less stressed. I was going to college at the same time, so I had a lot of pressure. But yeah, I mean, it was just nice for someone to feel like they were trying to help me physically and emotionally. I don't know if it really calmed me down, but it tasted pretty good. Let's move on to the next paragraph, guys. Unlike green and black teas, herbal teas do not contain caffeine and are not made from the tea plant. 
Tom mentioned that these teas we're talking about today, these herbal teas, don't come from the tea plant. But we haven't mentioned the fact that they don't have caffeine in them. Caffeine is a compound that is found in tea and coffee plants, and we add it to things like Coke, Coca Colas. Those have caffeine in them. They kind of make your system wake up. Feel more alert. A lot of people, when they get up in the morning, need a cup of coffee or some tea or maybe Red Bull. That's kind of a drink that people like because it gives them a lot of、uh, caffeine, a lot of energy. I try to stay away from caffeine myself, so maybe I need to focus more on herbal teas. So this is something that it doesn't contain. So if you need caffeine, maybe herbal tea is not the way for you to go. <laughs> yeah, most people drink coffee because I guess it has more caffeine, but of course、mm. tea can. Contains caffeine.、Mm. I can't remember if they said green tea contains no caffeine. It does have caffeine, or it contains a lot of caffeine. I'm not quite、it、sure. I'd have to do some, some、yeah. research. Yeah, I'm not really sure what kind of tea you should drink if you want a little bit of a kick in the morning.、Yeah. I know if I drink a lot of tea at night, I can't get to sleep.、Oh, really? So I usually have to consume my tea before 6 p.m.、Huh. But in any case, here, yes, herbal teas, unlike green and black teas. Uh, herbal teas do not contain caffeine and are not made from the tea plant, as we stated earlier. Instead, they are made using herbs, spices, fruits, or other plant materials such as flowers, leaves, seeds, or roots. Right. Those are the ingredients of herbal teas, and of course, there are many different kinds of herbal teas. And of course, they use herbs, you know, which are things that I guess special aromas give or- flavor to things. Right. We use a lot of herbs in our cooking, you know, like basil. I'll add some basil when I'm cooking, or oregano, or oregano, as the British like to say.、Oh, If I'm、do. cooking Italian food, yeah, isn't that funny? Oregano, we、mm. say oregano. So those are some herbs, but it also comes from spices, fruits, or plant materials. I know I mentioned ginger before. That comes from the root of the ginger plant. We just kind of boil that root to get the ginger tea. So that's where these herbal teas come from. Just different flowers, leaves, seeds, roots, things like that. Okay, everybody. We're going to take a break right now and listen to our Chinese teacher. But stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny. 今天我们要看的是第一单元。好，我们要来谈跟健康有关的话题。那么健康呢，大家都很重视。而今天要说的是可以帮助你放松身心的花草茶 ，herbal teas. Herbal 其实就是药草的，所以我们今天看。花草茶，它可以怎么帮我们放松心情？文章呢？这边就从古老的中国跟埃及，他们在文献里面，他怎么样提的？他说到怎么用花草茶来治疗病情，来保持身体的健康。那我们来看。往下走，下面就说了，的确，花草呢，它可以帮助我们，不管在情感上也好，身体健康也好，都有帮助，增加我们的幸福感。看到这个字 ，well-being，well-being Well-being 其实就是代表一种完整而健康的状况。所以说，如果是 emotional well-being。讲的就是这种情感上的满足与幸福。再来下一段，一开头用到 unlike， 我们注意到 unlike 这个字，其实呢 ，like 当动词是喜欢，可是当介系词就代表像。那像这个字，它的相反词是 unlike， 所以这边的 unlike 就是和什么不一样的、不相同的是。点点点，当然，如果刚刚说到 like， 它是动词，是喜欢，那它的相反词就会变成 dislike， 前面加 d i s， 所以不同的字首，记住意思就会不一样了。好，接下来我们就看那花草茶呢，它跟其他的茶，像红茶、绿茶是不一样的。怎么说呢？这边讲到 are not made from the tea plant。我们就看到 made from， 当然这边是被动。如果这些词用 from， 那通常表达的就是这个转变的过程里面，你可能呢转变过后已经看不到原来东西的材质了。那我们看看下面就说了，它不是从茶树所制成的，它是什么呢？是用药草，是用香料，是用水果等等等原料所制成的。那这边在举例的时候，当然你会看到 such as such as A B 
and C. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Let's continue with today's lesson about herbal teas.、Mm. Maybe you are preparing for a test. Maybe herbal teas or an herbal tea might do the trick for you. Might、uh, help you focus on your studies or something like relax, that. Relax, maybe, and、yeah. relax and perform well on the test. Who knows? But、uh, where we left off, we talked about. How herbal teas are made? They're from various ingredients,、mm -hmm. like、uh, from herbs, spices, fruits, and flowers, leaves, seeds, or roots. And these materials are placed in hot water to release their flavors and properties. So, indeed, they are placed in hot water, or you pour hot water onto them.、Mm -hmm. It kind of depends on the kind of tea you're drinking. A lot of people, I suppose, would put these in tea bags. They'd simply buy the tea bags in boxes. That's place, what I do. Yeah, place. The tea bag in a cup and then pour hot water on it. And when you place the hot water onto the herbal tea, the flavors and properties are released. Property is something that is characteristic of something. Basically, it allows it to do what it's supposed to do. Is it going to help you stay up? Is it going to relax you? Those are the properties or characteristics of the tea. Yeah, and we often use this word when we're talking about different kinds of chemicals. You know what kind. Of Properties does that chemical have? We don't use it for people unless we talk about what you own, what kind of property you own. Properties here, though, is being used as Tom said to talk about the characteristics of some of these flavors or herbs or things. Now, some popular herbal teas include the following. Chamomile, which is probably the most popular herbal tea, ginger, and one called rooibos, which I found out is from South Africa, which I hadn't heard of, but、uh, is popular as well. Chamomile is from a European plant. It's in the daisy family, that pretty white flower, and it's supposed to, you know, calm you down. It's very popular. Tom here has told me he doesn't enjoy chamomile tea. It's okay, you know. I'll. I'll drink that one, but my preference of these three, of course, is the ginger, which actually soothes sore throats. Well, to be fair, when I tried chamomile tea,、yeah. it was from a tea bag. Oh, maybe it's better to have the original flowers or something.、Yeah. Who knows? But I did not enjoy chamomile tea from、mm. a tea bag.、Mm -hmm. And ginger tea, of course, tastes pretty good. And uh, also uh, rooibos, I've never tried. But in any case,、so、let's talk about chamomile tea. It comes from the dried flower of the chamomile plant.、Mm -hmm. While it is widely enjoyed for its mild taste, its calming effects are also said to get rid of stress. And anxiety.、Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't suffer from so much stress <laughs> or anxiety. You're pretty laid back, I have to say. Pretty、yeah. much, but in any case, yes, a lot of people enjoy its mild taste. If something's mild, that means it's not too strong. We can use this for a lot of things. Like if you buy hot sauce, especially if you buy taco sauce,、mm -hmm. uh, you can choose from hot. Taco sauce, or you can get mild taco sauce, where it's not so hot, not so spicy. But this has a mild taste. It's not too strong. It doesn't take a lot to get used to it, I guess. And so, because it has this mild taste, it's got a calming effect. It calms you down, and it is said, or people say, that it gets rid of stress and anxiety. If you get rid of something, basically, you send that thing away, so it's not here anymore. Get rid of all the junk in this house. You keep too much stuff. Get rid of it. Send it to the dump or throw it out. And anxiety, of course, is、uh, excessive worry about something. Yeah, I wanted to mention with mild, you can also use it to talk about the weather, or maybe you have a cold, but it's kind of mild. It's not too severe. Yeah, so it's hopefully going to help people who need to calm down, get rid of some of the stress that they have. A cup of chamomile tea before bed may even help you fall asleep, as well as ease body pains and digestion. Digestion or digestion—they're both correct—is、uh, the process of taking food into your body, and your body kind of processes it in your stomach or your digestion. There is working to, you know, give your body the nutrients and vitamins it needs, and then gets rid of the excess in its own way when you go to the bathroom. So. 
Maybe it could help people before bed. I haven't tried it that way. Chamomile is pretty mild. If you're going to try one of the herbal teas, that's probably a good one to try first because it's not very strong.、Mm-hmm. And uh, I uh, was uh, curious uh, when、yeah. I first came to Taiwan why people eat fruit after their meals. We don't、oh, do that in、sure. America so、no. much. Hey, yeah, why do you guys eat fruit after your meals? And usually the response is, "Oh, it helps with digestion." Really?、Uh, that's what、oh, people tell me.、Okay. So I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'm sure、uh, it but, is.、Uh, you know, It's Chinese、uh, medicine. When in Rome, you know, so after、yeah. meals, of course, I join in and eat the fruit after the meal. Cool.、Uh, let's talk about ginger tea here.、Mm. It's made from fresh or dried ginger roots. Okay, so we've been talking quite a bit about ginger tea. That would be quite common here in Taiwan. This spicy tea is excellent for relieving upset stomachs. If you have Have an upset stomach. Maybe you ate a meal that was too greasy or something, and you kind of have an upset or a sore stomach. I suppose then you might want to have some ginger tea. It might provide you with some relief. We actually don't say sore stomach. Is that Chinese? Uh, yeah, I was just trying to think of another way to explain. <laughs> yeah, we that, just say upset, uncomfortable, or I have a stomach ache. Yeah, you or say that. maybe you have diarrhea a little bit later on because you ate something that disagreed with your stomach. Usually, if something is sore, it's because of a muscle problem. Yeah, pull may have, a、uh, muscle. You may have、uh, bent over the wrong way, so you、yeah. have a sore back, or I have sore arms、you、from lifting weights. Slept weird on your neck, so your neck's sore. There you go. So drinking ginger tea can help treat colds and. Coughs and soothe sore throats. If you soothe something, you kind of calm something down. You make it feel better.、Uh, maybe you have a child who's upset. To soothe the child, you might pat them, you know, hold them, make them feel a little bit more comfortable. Here, you're helping your sore throat feel a little better by soothing it with ginger tea. It does work. Roy Boss, Roy Boss tea, also called red bush tea, comes from the leaves of a shrub that grows in South Africa. A shrub is a small tree. It's just very close to the ground. It's a bush or a shrub. Either word is fine. It has a sweet, earthy taste. Kind of tastes. A little bit like dirt, perhaps、Impossibly. earthy. Yeah, because some of these things actually do. Like I said, to me, tea tastes like grass. That's kind of earthy. It's believed by some to help treat asthma. I actually have asthma. It's a condition where it's hard for your lungs to get enough air in all the time, and also helps various allergies. So that might be something you want to try out. I think I'm going to take a shot of this if it really does help asthma.、Gotta、I certainly、it. hope that there. There are some special tea shops in Taiwan that、yeah. sell this stuff. I'd like to try it because I have allergies and、sure. I have asthma, but I'd like to clear some of the junk out of my throat.、Yeah. It can also be found in products intended to improve skin and hair quality.、Mm. So they use this in products like、uh, skincare products. They are products in which you can, you know, rub them on your skin. Maybe shampoo. Or they put it in yeah,、shampoo. an ingredient in shampoo or something. Conditioner makes、yeah. your hair kind of shiny and silky and stuff、nice. like that. So many people find. Different herbal teas to be refreshing, relaxing, and delicious. If it's refreshing, it makes you feel refreshed, makes you feel like you have life again. More energy. You're not as tired feeling if you're needing to feel refreshed. So it's refreshing, relaxing, and delicious. So whether you want to improve your health or you're just looking for a satisfying caffeine-free drink, try a few herbal teas to see which one you like the most. There are a couple here that I'm going to try out. I have tried. Tried a lot of the different, you know,、uh, fruit flavors. Chamomile, I've also tried. But this Roy Boss, I'm going to try that in the future to see how it affects me. Yes, that、uh, is something I am intrigued about. So I'd like to check it out. So please, somebody tell me where the nearest special tea shop is. A grocery store would have a lot of these. Possibly、too. some of the big supermarkets、sure. in the major cities might sell it, at least in tea bag form. Yeah, you never know. But in any case, if you're all interested in trying out herbal tea, I'm sure you can find some in your local supermarket. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation. Here comes our Chinese teacher. 好，我们继续来往下看。提到呢，花草茶是怎么样制成的？如果你把这些原料放在热水里面呢，就会有一些它独特的风味与特性。看到“特性”这个字 ，properties 这个字，当然是指。有些物质的性质，我们通常会用 P R O P R T Y property 代表财产。不过
，这边它是一个可数名词，代表性质。那接下来就来看看有几种热门的花草茶。第一种就是 chamomile， 我们看到 chamomile tea， 我们翻译成洋甘菊茶。那这种洋甘菊茶，它其实味道是很温和的啊，所以大家都很喜欢。还有它有很多的疗效。那在谈到大家喜欢，谈到它的疗效的时候，看一下句构。句构这边提到 ，while it is widely enjoyed for its mild taste， 我们看到 while。While、wow, 它是一个连接词，当然 while、wow、有很多种用法，有的时候是代表两件事同时进行。不过呢，有时候你看到 while、wow, 它比较像 although， 虽然，尽管，像在这边就是这个解释，尽管如此。好，接下来下面继续来看。花草茶像这种洋甘菊茶，它功能很大，它可以帮你怎么样？他说到 ，help you fall asleep as well as ease body pains and digestion。好，我们注意到它的功效，在解释的时候。有两个前跟后，而中间这里有一个 as well as as well as。一般来说，它代表的就是前者还有后者。不过，往往焦点是摆在前面。当你用 as well as 的时候，要记得，因为它是对等的连接词，所以前后呢，通常在。句构上会有平行的现象。换句话说，看到前面是 help you fall asleep， 这是一个动词片语。那后面跟着的 ease body pains and digestion， 这也是另外一个动词片语，前后平行。再来，当然不只有洋甘菊茶，后面还提到姜茶，还谈到一种特别的南非国宝茶。这边我们就要来看一下这个南非国宝茶呢，它里面的解释跟说明有几个地方要特别注意的，就是它有一种 sweet earthy taste。Earthy taste. 换句话说，这个尝起来也有那么一点土的味道。不过，他这边就说 ，and is believed by some to help treat asthma. 看到这里 ，is believed 这种被动的用法，其实我们中文当然就是要把它翻译成“据相信”，别人相信这件事情，大家相信。哎。可是，在英文的句构里面，它常常用被动来表达，表达一件事情是被相信的。好，看完这个句构，最后这里他还说到，当然花草茶能提神，能让人放松。所以他说啊 ，Whether you want to improve your health or you are just looking for a satisfying caffeine-free drink， 好，看到这句 ，Whether or， 这个当然是一个选择。不管是 A 或者是 B， 也许你是想改善健康，也或许你只是在找一种让人满意的没有咖啡因的饮品。那么就来试试花草茶吧。OK， 今天我们的讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。That's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie.、Goodbye. See ya.